Uh, let's Nicola with Intimate Wisdom. Where are my cards? Here they go. Okay, so we will be doing this for a Taurus couples. And I'm intentionally doing Taurus couples first because I don't want to jump into the singles read because I am a single. So I want to wait on that. Sorry, guys. So we're going to do Taurus couples. Well, yay for the Taurus couples. <laughs> I'm not a couple, so, you know, feeling some kind of way back there, you know what I'm saying? All right, so this is for Taurus Couple, September 2017. Let me do these the other way. They're getting so bent, y'all. They're getting so bent, and it just irritates me. All right, so what do we have for Taurus Couples, September 2017? If you guys would like a reading, all the information is in the description on how to get in contact with me. Please, guys, comment. Let me know what you think. Those of you that have, have subscribed, thank you. Um, if you have not, hit that button. Man. It's freaking awesome over here, babe. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got for Taurus Couples. September 2017. What do we have? The Taurus Couples. September 2017. Any information? Taurus Couples. 2017. Mm. Good deal, Taurus couples. All right. Underline energy. Love yourself first. Some of you guys need to nurture yourself as Taurus as I know we give all. We give it all when we're in a relationship. You know, we give all our love away, all our emotions away. We give all of our time away, all of our attention away. You got to keep some of that to yourself. Nurture yourself. That's the underlying energy. Your central focus is attraction. So it says you, you attract love by fully enjoying this moment. Some of you guys are not seeing the blessings in front of you, even though there's blessings all around you. I see it. But some of you guys are maybe too in tune with yourself to not to realize that someone else is very much in tune with you right now. So let's pull some clarifications for Taurus couples. September 2017. What do we have for Taurus couples? September 2017. Taurus couples. September 2017. September 2017. What do we have? Taurus couple 2017. What's up with this attraction? Tell me about this. Okay. Mm. So for some of you guys, something's changing in your love life. Um, and not in a bad way. Um, some of you guys have hooked up with your past life love, soulmate, true flame, twin flame, true love, whatever you want to call it. And it could be a true love, like I said, because you got true love as a complex. So some of you guys have linked up with someone from your past, linked up with someone that you that is a true love, a past life relationship, and you definitely feel it. But there may be some challenges as well, because when you're dealing with these kind of relationships, there's usually drama um <laughs> you gotta think that your soul still is carrying whatever hurt came from that relationship whatever rejection whatever neglect whatever whatever was going on in that past life it's gonna happen in this life well it's not i'm not gonna say it's gonna happen but the effects will be there so it may be um either juggling or having a, a hard time you know balancing everything balancing this new love or this true love that you're dealing with some of you guys have been with this person for a while so you are already aware but it may just be challenging a lot to deal with right now in this situation let's see let's pull one more what can we do about it all right just have strength and the willpower you'll make it through it just have patience baby i pull strength card let me show you i pulled the strength card can you see it okay so Let's focus on this next card. We got true love. It says this is a romance of a lifetime. Why is true love in the conflict, though? It's in the conflict, guys. So, some of you guys are at a standstill with starting this foundation. Some of you guys are really, 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 like, y'all are together, but you're not wanting to make take the steps or make it solid. Some of you guys are needing to go ahead and make it solid. Um, ask for their hand in marriage. Open yourself up to them and pull the king of cups. That's all out. So some of you guys are not being open and being expressive of how you truly feel. Your crown and energy is past life relationships. So that's basically self-explanatory. I don't need to pull 
um, cards for that. That's basically someone in your environment, the person that you're dealing with is someone you dealt with in a past life. It doesn't mean that it's your twin flame, but it's a possibility that, that it is. Let me fix this. Okay, y'all can see me better. But it doesn't mean that it's a twin flame, but there's a possibility that it is. But this is someone from a soul, um, a soul relationship, someone that you've known in a past life. We got, mm, we've got let your friends help you here. So I pulled the four, well, this is what fell. So it was, the, it was the four of cups. Some of you guys are bored right now. Um, that's probably why you're not expressing love or not even bored. Some of you guys are just not happy um, because may, you may be going through some things, which is normal when you're dealing with this type of relationship. Some of these relationships are karmic relationships, which means that you're stuck in this situation until you learn something from the situation. So some of you guys may be needing to learn something. You got trust. It says the situation is calling for you to have faith. Maybe you guys are needing to learn something from this situation. Maybe the underlying thing that you need to learn is to love yourself first. I don't know. It says, let your friends help you. This is the base support. So maybe you're feeling like you're needing to ask your partner to help out either in some household chores, help out with bills, help out in some kind of way in regards to your life right now. So now this could be you asking your friends for help um, and how to deal with this, um, getting advice from friends, asking for support, you know, things like that. So let's... Mm. So we pulled the, well, we didn't pull, the judgment card popped out. So this can be either asking for forgiveness or needing someone to, or even talking to someone professionally, asking for help um, in regards to this love relationship. This is a past relationship, though. Keep getting cards that would symbolize that this is a past life relationship. So some of you guys, like I said, you need to reach out to your friends for advice and which way to go with this situation. Some of you guys may be juggling two people and have came in contact with your past life or soulmate. I mean, your past life love, soulmate, twin flame. And now you're confused as to which way to go. Your, your um, past was calling for you to trust. And I pulled the lover's card on top of that. So trust that the situation is spiritually ordained. That's all I can tell you. When you're just dealing with a situation like this and it's being led by the spirits, you literally have to sit back. There's nothing you can do. Um, if it's not moving fast enough, if it's not moving slow enough, there's nothing you can do. You just have to go with the flow in these type of situations. Um, let's see. We got passion. Why is passion over here? It says, allow your heart to sing with joy. This is a future energy coming in. So why is passion here? Why is passion here? Mm. Someone new coming in and deepening in a relationship. There's some work that's going to be involved. This has to do with the past life energy. Some of you guys are dealing with past life energies. And this is a spiritual connection. So some, some for some of you guys, this is a karmic um, connection. Something that you're going to have to learn from. And for some of you guys, you're still going to have to learn from this person. But it may be a soulmate or twin flame. And it's going to be a rough road. Um, sometimes, I'm not saying all the time it is, sometimes it's very easy, it's a very, you know, peaceful time, but a lot of times it's a rough road, especially getting started, okay? Well, I was going to pull one, but it popped, oh my gosh, so this is what popped out, <laughs> twin flame popped out, guys, so definitely some of you guys have came in contact with your twin flame, I don't know if you're attached to someone, and you're, this person has came into your life and now you don't know what to do but there this is a situation now that you're going to have to work your way through you're going to have to put in some work and you're going to have to actually make some decisions um when it comes to this relationship so this is all i got for my couples guys if you would like a reading all the uh stuff all the information is in the description um that's all i got for you check out your general read guys y'all have a good night